Bug bounty hunting sounds exciting, doesn't it? Especially when you see people sharing their big wins online. But when you're starting out, it can feel impossible. Everyone's finding bugs except you. I've been there, and I get it. Stick with me till the end of this video, and you'll know exactly how to find your first bug, even if you're starting from scratch. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty, let's talk about the foundation. You don't need to master every hacking tool or vulnerability before you start bug bounty hunting, but you do need the basics. Learn how to poke around websites using tools like Burp Suite, test parameters to see if you can change or remove them, and perform simple scans with tools like Nmap. Think of this as learning to use a basic toolkit before attempting to build something. For example, understanding how an application processes inputs or handles session data can be your first clue. These skills don't need to be perfect, you just need to know enough to get started. Once you have that foundation, you're ready for the next step. Choosing your target. Here's where most beginners trip up. They head straight to platforms like HackerOne or BugCrowd, thinking that's where all the action is. But these programs are often picked clean by experienced hackers, leaving you frustrated and stuck in a loop of not finding anything. Instead, start with websites that have vulnerability disclosure programs. These are companies that acknowledge your findings but don't pay bounties. Why? Because most advanced hunters don't bother with them, leaving them as prime targets for beginners. Finding these programs isn't rocket science. You can use Google Dorks or save yourself some time by checking out a GitHub repository like Bug Bounty Dorks. This repository is a treasure trove for finding vulnerable targets that haven't been tested to death. Once you've identified a few potential websites, don't rush in just yet. There's an art to selecting the right target. Avoid the top search results. The websites that appear on pages 1 or 2 of a Google search are often too secure and actively monitored. Instead, dig a little deeper. Think pages 5 or 6. These lesser-known websites are more likely to have overlooked vulnerabilities. Now here's a common beginner mistake, using default tools and word lists without adapting to the website you're targeting. For example, if you're testing a site running on Drupal, don't use a generic word list. Use one specifically designed for Drupal. This increases your chances of finding hidden files or directories that other hackers might miss. GoBuster or Derb are excellent tools for this. By tailoring your approach, you're not just testing, you're hunting smartly. Next, let's talk about building a proper methodology. Bug bounty hunting isn't about blindly running tools and hoping for results, it's about having a system. Start with an Nmap scan. Think of this as shining a flashlight into the dark corners of a website. Look for version numbers of services or software running on the server. Cross-reference these version numbers with trusted sources like ExploitDB or Rapid7 to check for known vulnerabilities. Here's a word of caution. Not every result you find online is reliable. If a random forum claims a version is vulnerable, don't waste time on it unless it's backed by credible sources. After checking for vulnerabilities in the server's configuration, move on to directory brute forcing. This step is often overlooked, but it's where you can find gold, hidden files, backup configurations, or even admin portals. Tools like GoBuster are your best friends here. Use them to uncover what's tucked away. Now here's the deal. I'd love to show you step-by-step -step hacking tutorials here on YouTube. YouTube, breaking it all down for you. But the truth is, those videos would get taken down faster than you can say, Get the bug out of here. In fact, one of my most popular videos, where I explained how I hacked my uni, purely for educational purposes, didn't even last a week before YouTube nuked it. But if you really want to learn hacking the right way, no fluff, no BS, and everything laid out in a structured path, then you've got to check out Cyberflow's Academy, my community where I don't just talk about hacking, I show you. We're talking things like, Setting up your own pen testing lab, step by step. Mastering Linux commands while tearing through Metasploitable 2. Website hacking basics. Real stuff. No script kiddie nonsense. Juicy intel gathering methods that'll make you a recon expert. Exploiting file upload vulnerabilities and even getting your hands dirty with burp suite. And yeah, we've even got the infamous How I Hacked My University tutorial in there. So if you're ready to go from just watching to actually doing, check it out. Links in the description.